Hello everybody and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Um, I'm just going to keep on playing. I organized the house just a little bit, not a lot. Uh, I'm not going to worry about eating at home. I'm going to eat on the road today when I loot the houses. I distinctly remember... Oop. Interesting. I distinctly remember clicking on having the screwdriver out and disassembling a TV and then walking back to the car and physically clicking on the number two hotkey to bring up my um, nightstick because I was like, I don't want to have the screwdriver equipped. I think it was leaving this, that property right there. Um, it's a light bulb in the street, right? Yes. Um, but I cannot find the screwdriver. I had a backup screwdriver at home. Um, so I, I just, I brought that with me, but I am a hundred percent convinced that, uh, I lost it due to a bug. Like I, I had it in my hand and I said like, Hey, uh, bring up my nightstick. And when I, when I clicked the button, I think he dropped it or, or something. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I know for a fact that I didn't break it on disassembling the, um, the TV. Like, I know it, it wasn't like the last time it could have been used and it broke apart in my hands. Like, I, I distinctly remember having it. So, just an interesting thing there, losing the screwdriver, but we did have an extra. But that does mean that we don't have an extra at home anymore. So, we are on the lookout for a screwdriver now. Hopefully, we will find it in a kitchen drawer over here somewhere. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I do need to get into the habit of when I jump out of the car or whatever to be in stealth mode. I do want to level up stealth. There we go. Now we went to these four yesterday. Let's scooch around the police car here. Let's kind of go park it in the road right here somewhere and again yeah those four so that one that one and that one those are the new ones today and we have to be a little careful because I think we're getting pretty far north and there was a uh, baseball field or a hotel or something so we just need to be a little careful about how far north we're going We might run into far more zombies than we want to. But right now it seems pretty quiet, so we shall see. I don't know how I feel about these little houses either. Like they're good to me, but they're also like I don't know. Oh ho 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 ho. So the that one right there had a, a home, a house alarm. And it's going to pull every zombie from forever away. But that sucked. We saw this at the videotape store too. The videotape store had one of those alarms on it. So we are definitely going to hightail it away from there. Definitely leaving. Uh, this is the baseball field, I think. I'd be interested just to kind of talk out right here and see what's in the back of this car. Apparently. Hard for me to get into these cars here lately. Like, it's like lining up the, the deal where you have to like get in like, oh, is that a police officer with a shotgun on his back? <gasps> that is a police officer with something on his back. I don't know if that's a shotgun. What the heck is that? He's got something on his back. This guy's got a knife on his shoulder. 
Ладно. It's just a baseball cap. I don't think one of those is dead. I don't think they, they haven't moved. Like, oh, poops. I mean, we did set off a, a house alarm, so they are stirred up right now. Shotgun. Well, that's a pretty sweet looking shotgun right there. And then a baton. And then the bulletproof vest. And you can keep everything else there, trooper. Somebody over here had a digital... There's the butter knife guy. Where is digital watch guy? Oh, there he was. Want digital watch. Okay. Well, I guess we'll look at everybody else too. Just once over. Okay. V. I know my car's still running. I thought this would be a pretty quick. Maybe I can't get into this car. Oh, oh! I didn't even need to get in the dang thing. Oh, a screwdriver, nice. And a first aid kit, super nice. Don't need the empty water bottle, but that's great. We now have a backup uh, screwdriver. Lovely. And we got some kind of like crazy shotgun and that is from the mod pack that shotgun that, that he has it's from the mod pack it looks like it's a um a rotary clip so it probably will hold like 15 shotgun shells um that's pretty cool um i'm 100 sure where this goes i think this goes out toward dixie There's a place to the east of here called, like, it's a trailer park, and everybody calls it Dixie. Um, that's interesting. A poo poo ton of zombies up here. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in all that there. And then this here is the baseball field I think I was talking about earlier. I was saying we have to kind of be careful of the baseball field because there's a lot of zombies in that area. So, um, I am I am very unhappy that the that the car is not driving through this area as quickly as I think it could. That was that was rough. That was rough. I think I think I don't know. That was rough. Let's go up here and see what the damage was done by that. The alarm should be off by now. But that doesn't mean that a million zombies... Yeah. That's a lot of zombies. Don't really know what we're going to do now. <laughs> uh, what's that road? That's a little convenience store. That's the clinic. We try to loot these houses. There's two coming right there. Let's see how we do. Three coming. Oh, got both of them, I think. That was pretty sick. 
Nice. I hear another one though. Ah, there you go. <laughs> and black digital watch. Great. Perfect. I wonder if we can throw anything in here right quick. The bulletproof vest is probably pretty heavy. That shotgun will throw in there. I'm going to hold on to the... Uh-oh. I thought I heard something. All right, shotgun goes in there. The walkie-talkie, the first aid kit. And the watches we'll hold on to. You have a bowl of water. Nice. And we're hungry, so let's, let's see if we can't get some place and find something to loot. Get something to eat. One of these houses up here. These houses look a little bit more bougie than the other ones, so there should be food up here and, and maybe a little bit better loot. Garden gnome right there in the front yard on that one. Of course, I gotta have a My guy, my guy. Okay, I think it is hold down E to get into a house through the window. There it is. Okay. Wine glass. Uh, okay. Oh no, another mortal and, and pedestal thing. Mort, mortar, mortal and pedestal. Uh, farming Volume 1 we picked up. Tailoring Volume 2. I don't know if we have that or not. The farming, I know we just kind of secured that one. So, good there. Carpentry Volume 4. The bathroom. Okay. Another gun case. What does this one got in it? We're finding a lot of guns. It's got something in it. I just can't see right now what it is. A magazine, some, a box of ammunition, and something else. But that's pretty nice. I think I think he tried to yeah we're good I think he tried to bite me and our the guy our guy pushed him like pushed him away from him like maybe I was running or something yeah he didn't make a sound he didn't make a sound that was a little scary am I really hungry now yeah I'm really hungry now what time is it just after noon There were two or three up that way. Uh, electrician four, metalworking volume two, and then the metalworking magazine already read. What we got here? Empty bowl, tumbler, plate, carving fork, mug, 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 meat cleaver. We're gonna take the meat cleaver. I think that's a decent weapon. Here we go. Let's do corned beef. Let's open that up. Oh, our leather gloves are broken. Yikes. I did not know that our leather gloves were broken. That sucked. I wonder if they can be um, repaired. We're gonna eat a. We're gonna open up some peas too to go with our our corned beef. Right there. Go back into that and grab those two. Perfect. And the, ooh, beer. Drink that beer.
Everything else is rotten. Here, and we will fill all of our water bottles up. Perfect. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, tweezer, antidepressants. I'll bring the tweezers. I don't think I've seen tweezers a lot, so I'll br I'll grab them. Okay, I think I think it might be better to open doors in the ready stance than it is like the just standing there. There's gloves. They're not leather gloves. I'll hold on to them, but they're not they're not the kind of gloves we want. We want leather gloves. And then another room where uh just like a desk, I guess. Cool. All right. And then we will disassemble the antique television. Oh, look at that. We're already uh we're already tired. Oh, hey, boss. Scare me, buddy. Giving me lovies? Why are you giving me lovies, huh? Why are you giving me lovies? Four lovies. Very interesting. Put the electrical wire on the floor. The amplifier on the floor. Go back outside here. Overloaded and tired. Ah, it's raining. Nice. The crops don't need to be watered back home. Super good. As nice as this car is, I don't think it's it's very long for this world. It'd be nice if we could snag some more car keys. That way. Um. Oh wow, I'm on my street. I was going to say, where do I live? Okay, hop out. Um, I'm probably going to need to bring all this stuff inside first. I don't think I can carry it. I'm already tired again. That's so weird. I got just exhausted. Peach. I'm not even hungry. So. Canned peaches, canned tomatoes. The antidepressants also go up there on the shelf. Gun case. Place it with all the other gun cases we have found. Thank God for Kentucky. Meat cleaver, by the way, can also go in there. And then, just a tertiary look. Can we repair these? Inspect. Condition of zero. Hmm. I think, I think, I don't know. I, have to, I, I don't know how can you, you can repair. I don't think you can. 
We're gonna go to sleep right quick though. Critique. Boom. I wonder if I wonder if he fights if he gets fatigued when he fights. He might. Eight o'clock in the morning. That's a good time to wake up. And it's been raining all night. That's great. We probably need to put our backpack down. And pick up our bucket. <sighs> Off the ground. And go fill up our... And go fill up our, um, our deal upstairs. And if we had, um, if I had half a brain, I would have built those on top of the house so that they would just fill up automatically from the rain and then they would just plumb into the deal down here. We would have to do this, but I don't have, I don't know how to, um, I don't know how to get stuff on top of the, on top of the, uh, the on top of the roof. I could go out this window and I could build, um, A floor like I can do carpentry uh, carpentry I, oh, I, I don't have the hammer I guess if I had like hammers and nails I could do carpentry and I could build a floor outside that window and I could put one of the the collectors the rain barrels out, out, on, out on that floor and then because it's above where I want it to, to plumb into I could plumb it that way and then it would fill up from the rain but I mean, this is not the worst thing in the world filling it up this way should turn or should have the animation oh no okay well i was gonna say it, it ought to have the animation now where there's water in it but it's not i guess we were almost out the um the mod, though, the weapon mod, that's pretty cool to see uh, one of the new weapons from that mod in the game on the back of a zombie. Uh, I was really concerned that um, I'd have to drive far away for the new loot table to spawn into that area. Um, but apparently I didn't think about zombies being spawned in. Not investigate the area. I just want to know. Watch yourself. Um... I, I, I wonder, I want to know how much is in there. Oh, 136 out of 160. Okay, so I can do one more. I can do one more. Just fill it up one more time. It's a nice day. I just want to stay in, to tell you the truth. There we go. And then... Place the item there. 
perfect. Come over here, continue trying to put this stuff away. Yeah, I just don't think you can do anything with the leather gloves once they die, uh, once they go. I think that's it. It really stinks. Please and thank you. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and just wear these. I'm not. I'm not wearing any gloves right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wear them. I don't think they're the best thing in the world, but they might be better than just absolutely nothing. And then these, I'll just put them on the floor. And I'll maybe hopefully figure out how to do, what to do with them later. Screwdriver goes up. Here. All that stuff looks good. The baton, though. Is that a new baton? I think that's a new baton. So that can... We need to have an armory. Like, we need to have one of... Uh, some, something devoted to just holding weapons. And speaking of weapons, let's go look at that shotgun we got. Well, we'll go pick it up and bring it inside. We're not going to stand in the street looking at it. Bulletproof vest, tactical, first aid kit, and shoddy. Boop. Shotgun shells, 11 out of 12. Does great damage. Used a couple of times. Range is small. So let's go ahead then and on our back, let's unload it. Okay, and then let's go put this. Can we put it up here? I think, I think that's where we put it before. Okay, we'll put it up there on the shelf. And then the other one, we'll put that on our back. Does it need a sling, I wonder? Repair it. Place item drop, unload. Unload, insert, equip in both hands. I wonder if it needs. I don't know. Where did that sling go? Hold on here. Is it on? Grab, equip with both hands, place. I, oh, I, I don't think he, uh, yeah. And then the, the double barreled one, I don't think has a sling either. Okay. Um, where's the other shotgun at? There's a sling right there. So we'll grab one. And then we'll click. On, and I'm so sorry too. I know this is not very uh, riveting content. Put in a container, favorite, insert, unload, unload, equip. Okay, so I have the sling on me, but there's no, there's just nothing. I just put it back in the container. Perfect. Okay. I'll put that up. And then those shotgun shells I'll put in the, the back. Just so they don't weigh as much. Great. So now we have a new shotgun that holds 12 rounds instead of 8. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And our guy is hungry and he's overloaded. He does carry a lot. He does carry a lot. Uh, the police, the, the, he doesn't need to carry that with him everywhere he goes. Nor does he need to carry that. Nor does he need to carry that. And then the two crafted spears. I, I bet we can equip those and just kind of use those. They'll break quick. I'm pretty sure that they break super fast, actually. Wow, you can't really cook anything. I wonder why. There's water there. Hmm. 
It's really just like a can of chili is the only thing they say you can cook. Oh, there, there we go. Better? No? Interesting. Where's my pasta and rice and stuff? Where'd that go? With water, right? Do I have to be looking at the right cabinet in order to cook that stuff? No. Like the dried lentils and stuff. Like, why can't I do something with that? Let's just grab that one more time. Let's just make sure that we filled up all the way. I guess we did. Hmm. This guy's really good at cooking. Well, there's biscuits, there's bread, there's pancake, there's sourdough cookies. Okay. Okay. I think we're back now. There we go. Uh, let's do some pasta. We're not even really that hungry. We could do something light. Like a bowl of beans. Or a bowl of oatmeal. We should do a bowl of beans. Put that on there. Close that out. Turn that on. Or if it needs to even cook it or if it just needs to heat up. Oh, it does need to cook. Cooking beans. Who would have thought? Come on now. I got things I want to do today. <laughs> cooking leveled up. Nice. Level 3 cooking. Move that out of the way. Empty bowl. Over there somewhere. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, I got cooking level 3. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Probably unlocked some more uh, recipes. Tailoring is good. Electrical is looking good. Mechanics. That'd be kind of neat if we could go do something with mechanics. Fishing, I just don't think we're going to have the opportunity. Short blunt. That's looking great. And then sneaking, light-footed, and sprinting. Those can, those definitely can be leveled up some. Those are some really good skills to have. The sneaking and the light-footed and nimble. Even nimble is the one that lets you um, walk when you're in the combat stance. I gotta watch those those plants there. They look they're getting ready to be harvested. Get back from today's adventure. Don't let me forget to harvest those. Uh, I think I can just go straight now. I am gonna try to go back to the um, to the place I've been working on even though I'm sure it's going to be kind of well maybe I'll take a left up here and I'll go to those four houses just to kind of see those houses are kind of bougie like there's some there might be some good stuff in them went to that one went to that one I need to go there and there next and then that house there with a little awning on it Always, always lock front door. Oh, that guy right there. He doesn't see us. Oh, he still doesn't see us. 
whatever. Garbage bag. Oh, we did that thing where we turned off our deal. I think. Go oh, perfect. Holy crap. This is like the most secure house in the history of houses. Ah. Oh no. That's two alarms. That's two alarms on two houses. What are the odds? Anybody? Uh oh. I, I, I have a deep wound. Alcohol wipes. Disinfect. Disinfecting. Uh, remove glass. Suture needle holder. Okay. Stitch with suture needle. Stitching. We are stitched. Bandage, adhesive bandage. Good. Okay, so we didn't have a weapon in our hand when we said to smash the window, and we um, smashed the window and got a bunch of glass in our hand. So we had to use tweezers to get the glass out, and then we had to disinfect it. Well, we disinfected it first, then we used tweezers to get the glass out. Then we used suture needles and thread to suture up our deal, our our our, our arm, and then we. We bandaged it. Man, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. We got a little bit of a, a first aid experience off of it, though, so not the worst thing in the world. And the area that we're interested in, these the four houses, like it, maybe we'll get cleaned out because they're getting pulled over there now. So not the worst thing in the world. But a little bit of bad luck. Ooh. But a little bit of bad luck because, um, you know, we just had a, a house with an alarm on it. And this is the second house with an alarm on it. Like, it, bad luck. That guy's just, he's ridiculous. I don't want to get too far ahead of everybody here. I don't want to I don't want to draw too much attention but at the same time I do want to kind of get over there to those four houses or the that row of houses and they're getting pulled far away it's a little bit of noise He's got boots, lumberjack shirt, cowboy hat, tank top. I like the boots. I think my boots are okay, though. I got military boots. Yeah, they look great. I don't think they're in danger of like, the condition being bad at all. Are you coming toward me? You have a um what that night stick. Perfect. Digital watch, thank you. Anything else? Anybody else? Nope, perfect. I guess it's getting a kind of dark because it is rainy overcast mm. three
They don't really see me. They're not, they're not engaged, but there are three there I'll have to deal with. Um... I'll, I'll, I'll stop. I'll get out. I'll see what I can do here. I see one up there too. Come on now. There we go. I think that pulled two. Just so it doesn't pull all three of them. I just pulled two. Yeah. Or I mean, I can pull all three of them. I just need that that huge lead between the first two. I don't like the push. I don't like the push. I know he does the push when they get too close, but I don't. I don't like it. I'd almost rather him just try to, to punch him in the face one more time. Digital. Nice. Just me though, just preference. Where are you going, bud? Yeah, come back over here. Louisville map. Okay. Sometimes the wind sounds like zombies. There's three down there. There's two there and one there. I actually don't mind this guy coming over. Perfect. for house keys trying to find those car keys <laughs> there was a guy I watched playing this game and he found keys like he killed the zombie and the zombie was right next to a lock um, a locked door like one of the really dense locked doors to like a pharmacy or something and he killed a zombie that was just standing next to it and that zombie had keys and he was like what do you think that this zombie works here and sure enough those keys unlock the uh, the door to the the pharmacy area. <laughs> All right. Really interested to get up there and just I want to go into that one house the alarm went off of the first time. I really want to see what's in the house. I assume because there was an alarm there that there, there's something like super duper nice. That's what I assume. Uh couple of zombies it's that house right there I think. Uh, there's there's more zombies here that I'm very I'm comfortable with and it's really dark and when I play this um, for you folks I have to have the light on my face so you can see me uh, and I can't see too well uh, playing the game because there's a bunch of light like right in my eyes so I think today is a wash unfortunately it really stinks because uh, I don't think house alarms are supposed to be that like they're, they're supposed to be rare they're not supposed to happen too often we just kind of got like two times in a row we got something we'll watch it watch a movie when we get home that's how we'll alleviate our Disappointment. We'll, we'll throw in a videotape. Throw in a videotape. And then none of that says harvest, right? Says harvest. 
Okay. I don't even know where I threw all the videotapes either. I hope I didn't just randomly throw them in these boxes. feel like I did. Oh, so far so good. Alright, that was our weapons crate there, it looks like. Cool. Alright. And just knock this out right here. Just get a little bit of experience. Not a lot, just a little bit. We got Dead Wrong, Season 2, Episode 1. Exposure Survival, Episode 5. Sword Climate, The Danger in Your Bed. The Thompsons. Washington High. Prom Night. Lester Fails. Camping. Dead Day Afternoon. All right, what else we got? Ace Pilot. The Donkey Cart Race. Blood in the Hood. Dark Agent. Dead Wrong. The Explosive Bomb. Exposure Survival, Episode 2, Bait. Exposure Survival, Episode 3, Farming. And then camping. We have that one already. The Thompsons. Halloween House of Terror. Train Bomb. You Are Dead. And Z Squad. Season 2, Episode 3. I don't know what this is. Let's watch this one. What he? What, what was that? That was the fitness club. Okay. Oh, turn on. And play. All right. Let's see what it says. <laughs> what is this? Our problems aren't worth a pile of peas in this crazy. Oh, okay. So it's like a Casablanca. I don't, even, I don't even know if it's doing anything over here. I don't think we're bored or anything. Or unhappiness or whatever. I think we're just passing time. Don't think otherwise. <laughs> if you don't leave tonight, now you'll regret it. Maybe not now. But give it 48 hours. <laughs> oh, Sam, look after yourself, please. Please had till now, sweetheart. <laughs> Plane starts up and takes off. Damn, you just turned on a life of... <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> That's weird. Alright. That's an interesting one. <laughs> uh, are we hungry? We're not that hungry. I bet we could just kind of go to sleep here in a second, too. We're not even that fatigued, really. And it's not that late. Um, maybe we read something, then? Maybe we'll read, I think, fishing? Like, we have that... Ooh, dirty bandage. Remove the dirty bandage. And then... I wonder if we should disinfect it again. I, th I think everything looks pretty good right now. Put another adhesive bandage on there. There we go. Feel really silly. I didn't just go ahead and use one more alcohol prep on it. Just make sure we don't get it get it infected. Um, a little bit of first aid, no metal working, and oh, we already ate, we already read fishing one. Trappage, trapping, and foraging. One. 
electrician one first aid volume oh we could read first aid and just sit down can we sit yeah. and i usually just go ahead and click on this thing but it takes a long time to read a book but the, the nice thing is you do get the first aid buff um like if you just read some of it so you don't have to read like every single flipping page just to get a little bit of a buff it's not it's not bad it's good all right about halfway through we'll go lay down we don't really need to eat anything right now. I guess we kind of do. We just don't need to eat a lot. Um, over here to this thing. We'll grab broccoli and a carrot. Peas. What else would go good with a soup? I guess potatoes. We had a potato. I don't see a potato one. I will open up. We'll open up a pea soup. Why not? Let's okay, let's go over here and let's make a, a soup. A stew for a really kind of dark and crazy night. Add the broccoli. Add the carrot. Add the chickpeas. A little bit of butter. Our open can of peas. Perfect. Perfect. And we'll take this super duper heavy thing and we'll throw it on top of the oven we'll come over here we'll take that off there we go are we holding on to all that oh geez louise yeah that's probably not good all the wrap electronics there the suture needle goes back in there alcohol wipes go back in there Okay, don't have room for alcohol wipes. That's rough. The can goes there. Am I burning my stew? Not yet. First aid volume one. Throw it in there. Put this bulb goes in there. up here oh, the cat is out he is he's doing the on the back sleeping that's how you know he is completely worn out good cat I don't think he sleeps in the daytime I think he's too nervous like no one's around so he doesn't like super duper sleep then when we show up at home he you know hangs out with us and plays and watches what we do and then when we finally go to sleep at night that's when he he'll go to sleep too i'm gonna eat half of that i'm gonna throw the other half in the in the refrigerator for in the morning there we go yeah that's that's the right call All right, going upstairs, we're going to go lay down. Dirty bandage, man. Oh, it got infected. I should have done an alcohol wipe. Should have done an alcohol wipe. Antibiotic tape.
That was it? I'll get my antibiotics back? Like, I, that's a one-time thing, huh? That's rough. <laughs> that is rough. Uh, an adhesive bandage, or sterilized bandage, man. Yeah, that's rough. Should use another alcohol wipe on it. All right, laying down. Go to sleep. Wow. All right, we've been going for an hour. We got to stop. Thank you folks for watching. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Probably need to go take a shower or wash everything up. In the future, uh, don't try to break a window open without holding onto a melee weapon. Lesson learned. All right, folks. I bet that dirtied my bandage. No, it didn't. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And if you have a moment, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.